Hello guys, this is your Musical Wolf and uh, today I'm going to discuss with you the PRS MT15. You can't see me, you don't need to see me anyway. So this amplifier head is a 15 watt, it's a, a signature model for MT, Mark Termoni, Termontoni, something like that. Uh, so let's go fast through the specs. 16 pre amp tube, uh, 2 power amp tube. Uh, two channels, uh, clean and lead, with a boost function on the treble. If you pull it out, you can see. But if you pull it out, it will has a boost. It comes with presence and uh, uh, bass, mid and treble and gain for both the channel and then master and lead the channel volume. Uh, it has option here lead and clean switch, or you can do it from the foot switch. It's just simple foot switch one channel. On and off, very simple one. Um, it doesn't have a reverb, so from the back, simply you have an effect loop, you have a switch from 15 watt into 7 watt, and you have the output for the speaker cabinet. So it doesn't have a DI output or power socket. So I'm using a power attenuator with a two notes torp torpedo cabin simulation. Uh, the idea I want you to get here how the sound is looks like. But before we start, let's turn it on. One of the nice things here, this is a clean channel. If we switch it off, you can see the red. So let me switch off the light of the room. You can see this is the blue. This is mean the clean channel. And this is a lead channel, which is really cool. Actually, I like it how it, it's really lighted. Like I can see everything in my room. I can even practice like that. And the blue is really cool actually. So it's one of the nice things in that uh, amplifier head yeah so uh, when I saw like six preamp tubes I was like wow there's a lot of gain in this one uh, so let's hear it and then I will give you my conclusion about this amplifier I will use in the demo uh, Sterling by Music Man the GP70 this guitar it's John Petrucci's signature model but this is Sterling by Music Man not Earn Ball by Music Man so this means it's a cheap version from this guitar. Yeah, so turn it on and let's hear first the clean channel. I think it needs a little bit time than the other amps to warm up. the volume for the clean channel this is the maximum volume so here is everything is at 12 o'clock and the equalizer you can see it's not that clean so you need to get the volume down Let me increase the volume from here, so maybe that will be better. maximum so you can see it can be crunched so if we made like a simple equalizer like getting down the mid a little bit down a little bit higher for the triple and bass you can see the clean tone.
Alex Mambos. Um, the noise. This is just a nothing. So one of the I would say is a cons on this app. It's really noisy when you go to the leaded channel. So you need to get a noise gate with that amp actually because it doesn't have a noise gate. So uh, yeah so what this guy is missing I would say in that price like 550 watt 550 euro sorry and 15 watt it should be including a reverb um, the boost should be in your full switch and with that noise it should contain a noise gate uh, or they should remove the noise with some tech but yeah this is my opinion that what should be here uh, I would say most of the 15 watts amplifier contains a DI output power soak I would say like 99 of these uh, amps because generally this small amp is designed for like home recording and for home practicing so yeah we generally need it like to have an attenuator 7 watt is still very loud this guy one of its advantage it's super loud so yeah if it's without uh, <coughs> if it's uh, without any uh, power soak it's uh, it's you can't have a, have a cabinet in home unless you make your volume like I will say not even in one like 0.2 and uh, it will be totally loud so yeah it should contain power soak or power attenuator with a DI output uh, reverb a foot switch to control uh, the reverb and uh, the boost but yeah uh, this is my opinion what it should contain but at least if I'm going to produce this amp I will make definitely uh, the boost on your foot switch because this is how you will access in a gig and if you are at home you need to buy a attenuator and the eye output at least so yeah the designer for this amp I don't know like if he's a guitarist okay I know Mark Timon but like who makes the final decision for this amp not just like the sound the sound is really good like I love the sound of the amp the, the lead channel the clean channel are good but like the other features of the amp it's totally negative everything like there is no reverb there's no power attenuator power so like just from 15 to 7 watt which is not enough and then the boost you must access it from here so yeah these things is really important for us guys or at least for me so yeah and then you have the lead channel volume it's here while the channel here and it's called master lead channel so this is a clean let's see it doesn't affect at all so it's not a master 
it's just for the lead channel and they put it like you can see here the percent and then the lead channel volume and then you have the clean channel control and then you have the lead channel like equalizer with the gain uh, so this one should be here like pss, very basic because like yeah Be ready for the no be ready for the noise guys yeah so uh, yeah so I think now you hear the amp you hear the distortion let's try to do some leads but there's no reverb so just check something simple So now you can make your own opinion about the amp itself. For me, I give it uh, like two from five. Okay, and the two only because the lady channel is really has a good distortion, uh, which is not unique, but like it's okay. It's uh, if you play like uh, rock style up to heavy rock, hard rock, it's amazing one. Uh, if you go for metal, I will say it's nah. I will not use this one. Uh, Clean channel is okay. It's it's good, but it's nothing special. Uh, a lot of features is not exist that's supposed to be there. I expect it will be there in that price range. Um, so yes, it's uh, my opinion is totally negative about this amp. I had it now for like a week or ten days almost, and I will return it. I didn't play with it actually too much. I was just uh, busy a little bit before I tried, so that's why it took me 10 days. Generally, I tried the amp, I keep it in home for one day. Next day, I play on it all the day, and then the day after that, I can make a review, or like I have my own opinion at least if I want to keep it or no. So, yeah, uh, this amp, it's, uh, I found it, it's overpriced for the features and the basic stuff that we that I need. As a guitarist or like beginner guitarist, it's not exist. So yeah, uh, I can't see it is suitable for recording or even for gigs. Like both of these two options that we generally buy the amp for, it's missing some stuff. So for example, in gig, I need to have the boost on the on the foot switch. In the recording, I will need to have like I need to get an attenuator and the output at least at home. Or at least even attenuated when I'm going to practice at home I can't make a full volume and if I just get the volume really low which means I'm not using the power tube so I am just using a preamp uh, tubes and the power tubes are not using them that's why we have a power that's why we prefer the complete power tube the complete tube amplifiers and the hybrid because when I uh, use a power tube sound so yeah that was for today. Uh, I hope you get uh, an idea about this amp. And it's not heavy. It's like seven kilos. I expect so something like that. And uh, the body is metal. It's really good. And yeah, the light, as I told you, it's amazing. Uh, now it's not making noise because I make it in standby situation, so there is no sound coming out. So the noise didn't go. Yeah, and here you can switch the channels, by the way. And yeah. That's for today and uh, see you guys in another video. Ciao.